awesome event going on. It's the World Urban Games in Budapest, Hungary. Freestyle disc has actually been selected to be one of five internationally represented sports. It's the first time ever that freestyle disc is actually kind of peeling away from just a frisbee only venue and going into an international sports venue. And so we're really excited and that World Flying Disc Federation actually put together a proposal several years ago when I was the executive director of the Freestyle Players Association. We helped them put together this proposal for the World Urban Games and then waited six years to find out how this was going to happen and finally it's come to fruition. So we're super excited. I had no idea it has been that long in the making. I feel so <laughs> fortunate to be a part of this. How about you, Daniel? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're really excited. Um, so Juliana, you and I are kind of on Team USA. There's yeah. two teams representing the USA. It's the first country-specific, uh, you know, tournament, and it's mixed pairs. I'm playing with Emma Kale. Her I'm playing with Ryan Young. <laughs> so we'll, we'll be the two teams representing the USA. There's nine countries uh, total that are going to compete in this event. Um, and 12 teams, right? Yeah, so 12 teams yeah. total. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to actually be kind of neat because we're going to be able to showcase Freestyle Disc at the same time um, other other venues, we have what, BMX is going to be there, parkour. Inline skating, or I'm, I'm sorry, freestyle skating, freestyle BMX, parkour, braking, freestyle So there's disc. five events total. It's going to be exciting because um, we're going to actually share our, our sport with other people who are kind of not not doing traditional versions of any of these other sports right. so well i mean that's what we do and so we get to share it with them and we get to see what they're doing and so hopefully we'll be able to spread the jam that way right it's none of the events are going to be um contested at the same time so we'll get to be the audience for all of the other events as they will for us it's sponsored by uh, g-a-i-s-f the global association of international sports federations uh, it's sanctioned by the International Olympic Committee. It will be streamed by the Olympic Channel. So it puts Freestyle Frisbee on one of the biggest stages that it's ever been on. Yeah. Um, and I'm fired up to, to get to, to be a part of it. Yeah, uh, on a personal note, <laughs> I kind of feel like this brings things full circle for me because in 2001, disc golf was part of the World Games in Akita, Japan. And I was fortunate enough to play in that event. And it was by far the highlight of my disc golf career and I mean I'm, I'm actually getting goosebumps just thinking about it it was it was so professionally done I mean they treated us like we were professional athletes for the first time that I'd ever experienced that and it was big it was such a it felt like such a big stage and I have really high hopes for <laughs> for this one as well and I, I'm I'm sure that it's gonna give me the same and I hope everyone the same feeling of um, something much bigger than yourself. And congratulations to each of you for being able to be representatives of your country because that process in and of itself was actually very difficult because we have so many great international athletes in freestyle disc, but we had to think about who could best represent freestyle disc for the first time because hopefully this won't be the first time that there'll be future World Urban Games and I think that's what's planned um, for 2022 or one of the... Uh, 2021, it will happen again in Budapest, okay. so two years later. Um, so we're training hard. We're yep. Go Team USA. Go Team. Everybody, <laughs> go Team Freestyle. <laughs>